everybody. Coach Midway, the Dragon Sayer. My goodness, do we have a treat on the eve of the Buffalo Bills smashing the Pittsburgh Steelers in their opening home playoff game. Yes, that's right. We are in Buffalo. Don't forget the did 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 dragon dragon slayer did 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 playing the national anthem because you know what the Buffalo Bills and all the Bills mafia, my brothers and sisters, we are going to rock you, Steelers. Hit it, my man. Coach Wade, playing the national anthem. Check it out anyway. But you know what? We got more important things at hand. We actually have, I say chicken, you say, Raymond? Turkey. Oh my gosh, that's okay. Uh, B sizzle, I say, uh, I say chicken, you say, cock. Okay, there it is. Let's welcome my two amazing co hosts. By the way, we left the Buffalo man at home. Um, he was not invited on this trip, Ken, I'm very sorry, but until you actually subscribe to our channel and uh, get a freaking YouTube account, you're not invited on these trips. Just kidding. Love you. Miss you. Uh, anyway, uh, Doctor of Destruction, Raymond White! Hey! hey. 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 Raymond, we got the beverages here, man, like the dude said. Oh, I got a beverage here, man. And then, of course, bee sizzle, bee sizzle, bee oh. sizzle. Hey! Oh, Ray, you left him hanging. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Ah. Okay, so right here, guys. I know all kinds of information on the history of this place. Uh, not really. Let me see if it's on the wall somewhere. Uh, <laughs> but it's a very famous place. So why would I do this when we've got one of the three owners, my man Andy, coming out from the shadow. Right. Andy, 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 Andy. Oh, look. Oh, that was yeah, with authority right there. Yeah, there okay. Go. So we got to make sure we're still in the shot over there. Yeah, we're good to go. Dude, we're going to just start right now. One foot cock. Bourbon whiskey bottled in one uh, in Bond. Ray, can you uh, can. slide that up there, there so the camera can see it? Tell us there the history. I mean, first of all, we're coming to Buffalo, so there's only one place we're going to do epic bourbon tasting episode, and that is here at your place. But then, sir, then we saw the name, and it sealed the deal. Please tell us the history of One Foot Cock as we sample the bottled in bond One Foot Cock bourbon whiskey. Tell us about it as we raise a glass here, boys. Yep, yep. Well, One Foot Cock bottled in bond bourbon is Buffalo's first bourbon ever, as well as Buffalo's first bottled in bond bourbon ever. Okay, Sweet. Pretty cool. Yeah. And our roots go back to 1883, so that's, a, that's saying a lot there. This guy has got a voice made for the camera, doesn't he? <laughs> a face for radio. Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> Okay, so, so tell me, uh, One Foot Cock, this is a very right. great name. The name One Foot Cock, when we were becoming enthusiastic about making whiskey, we had our mentor from Asheville, North Carolina, Barbecue Bob, uh, taught us how to work a 16-gallon beer keg still. And we wanted to have a name that evoked an older time, a simpler time. And uh, my partner Frank, his father had this wooden rooster wood chime on his barn, okay. and the one of the legs blew off in a storm similar to what we're having this weekend. <laughs> really? God bless us all. It is yeah. quite a blizzard out there. And uh, one of the legs blew off, so he would always say, hey, have you ever seen my one foot cock, or could I show you my one foot cock? <laughs> so there you go, kind of like a break the ice type of thing. So we're like, well, that's cool, because in the old days, a lot of whiskeys had a rooster on it, and it evoked that, that older charm. That we I love it. For. That's a, such a great yeah. name. And such people like it. They remember it. Is that your water there, Doctor of yes, Destruction? Yes, it is. We're going to all share it. Yeah. Do you have herpes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he shared a room with me last night. Uh, I hope not. There it is. There it is. <laughs> we just found out that the Buffalo game has been put to Monday. Uh, and I'm supposed to be playing uh, tomorrow. And it's like thrown everything for a loop. we got to look at hotels and flights and everything else. So, yeah, but you know what? What is most important? Why do we drink bourbon whiskey, fellas? And uh, rye whiskey. Why do we drink it? Because it tastes good. With friends. And friends. Yes, With that's friends. right, because we're living in the moment, right. okay? This is one thing that I keep trying to tell people. We're putting the cell phones down, it's garbage, it's not the real world anyway, and we're existing right now in these next 10 minutes with you telling us all about the history and uh, all the awesome sauce that is around Buffalo Distilling Company. 
I couldn't be more happier to break cornbread with my <laughs> friends from my new friends from California. Here we go. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so that's this one now, guys. What do you think about it? It was good, right? I, I mean, it. obviously, now you were telling me because it's still new. Yeah. Coming back from the history, and so it's new. Uh, but you were talking that you can't get anything yet. That's eight years. Correct. We can't keep it on the shelves. We can't keep it hidden from ourselves for longer than <laughs> five or six years. We always seem to stumble into it and find it. So. And, you know, we're first generation distillers, admittedly, and proud of it. So we didn't have Pappy's barn full of 20 uh, year old bourbon that he forgot about somehow. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Did you sell that all? <laughs> it all went, yeah, we don't know where it went. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a bottle and we'll skip it for 20 minutes. There you go. <laughs> so what's what the appetite taste on this, right? What'd you ta I, I taste something on the finish. What was the finish? Uh, I think a little pepper in there a little bit. I taste licorice on the back end. Yeah. Anise. Yep. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Okay, next one that we're going to be tasting is the Empire Rye. Empire Rye. Yep, so Buffalo Distilling is a New York State Farm distillery. We are supposed to use 75% New York State Farm product to make our spirits. We currently use about 100%. So that's for our bourbons, uh, apple brandies, uh, vodkas, uh, Krupnik's a Polish specialty. So supporting the local farmers of our area. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the uh, Empire Rye bottled in bond. Now listen, Andy, we love rye. Yeah. Okay, in fact, I'm doing some single barrels, and uh, one of the last single barrels that I did was from Old Elk. Oh, nice. And uh, it was a rum rye, mm -hmm. super aged and uh, really, really, really flavorful. So let's dig into the rye, guys. Mm -hmm. Andy, are you going to partake in this, or are you just not going to? I don't think I have Okay, one. you don't, do you? They didn't pour you one, man. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Bottle's right there. I'll just enjoy you enjoying it. Ah. Ooh. Oh, dude. Oh! Oh man, uh, uh, Andy, you said earlier, hey, because it hasn't been aged as long, oh, it's going to be nice. spicy. Yeah, yeah, it definitely uh, tastes spicy. There, I was turned on to rye by a good friend of mine. Actually, his name was Marcus Peterson. You guys might know him. Almost spent the night at his house on uh, New Year's Eve with our families. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was telling me that the rye is spicy and this and that. And so actually, three years ago, I started getting into the rye, mm -hmm. and it took me a minute just to kind of like understand what I was exploring. But then. I really have fallen in love with them. What's, a, what's the story with the rye in New York? Right, so rye is really the traditional whiskey of New York State in this region. Apparently they had more ease in growing it back then, back in the 1700s, 1800s. Uh, your traditional Manhattan cocktail yes. would have, been, I, would have be featured awesome. rye in it. Mm -hmm. That's where, you know, that drink, that's what it was popular uh, when it was invented, so mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, so then the TTB, the feds, had a new designation of it's about about two three years and the new designation is empire rye designates a rye made entirely in new york state or the majority of it um the same way that they have tennessee whiskey as a designation sure. or tequila yep, yep. you know it's it, there's certain requirements so it has to be made in new york from new york that's rye. very cool got it got yeah it. so would you say that um It yeah. really does. does. Would, would you say that Cure for the common you're going food. to, in the future, get more rise? Yeah. Like, in, in, like more aging? <laughs> yeah. As you get older? Could, uh, every, every, Pipe every, down in front, man. I'm asking an important question. I'm asking if there's going to be hey, more hey. age rise. This is my channel, yeah, not yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all, of our, off. all of our rye and bourbon, any of our whiskeys, really the, the magic comes with more aging. Sure, sure. So the, the, the longer we're in it, the longer the, the, the more aging we'll get. Accomplished. That's the you that's been the goal. All <laughs> Our first batch of whiskey was three months old that we released. Oh, oh my god! It was, it was very young. It was still wetting its pants. I think. Yeah. Really this is a great. This I, well, is a great start. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I gotta say. So this start. right here. So you know you don't have the uh, the complexity on the finish, but in the the, the initial taste yeah. Yeah. and the flavors. That's I tell you, man. Yeah. It's gonna be good. It so that's good already. Sure. It's yeah. made out of New York rye, okay. New York malted rye, okay. and then our wild card in there is a bloody butcher corn, which is like an Indian type corn. Oh, I root carpenter. Yeah, uses that. Did oh, you know that? Yeah, no, I did not. I'm know. talking to them about doing a single barrel next year, mm -hmm. and they use that. Yeah. yeah. So it's an heirloom corn, mm -hmm. wow. especially grown for us for this. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then just that's the other piece that isn't rye, I mean, but it's corn. But it's so it's 100% New York state. And really, that's grown really within good. 20 miles a year. 
Now this is a, oh by the way, can you buy these? Absolutely, you can't buy them online currently. Yep. These products are typically only available at the distillery, but okay. we're in the, you know, 300 stores in Western New York. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, uh, Epic Bourbon Tasting fans out there, if you live in the state of New York, start looking for these, okay? Especially, is this for sale? This is. Even though it's a special? Yeah. Okay, whiskey, whiskey plank commemorative. Andy, tell us about that. All right, whiskey plank is a ceremony when you're building a boat. It's a certain uh, plank at a certain height of the boat where now the boat could hold water and, you know, float. So what's going on down at Canal Side in Buffalo right now, they're recreating this boat called the Seneca Chief, which is on the label. It's a 70 foot long skinny boat that would have traveled down the Erie Canal. What they call an Erie boat. An Erie boat. An Erie boat, right. Yeah, that would have been pulled by a donkey or two. Of course. Yeah. And so they're recreating this boat at 70 feet long, probably maybe 20 feet wide because uh, the boats had to pass each other in the canal, you know, coming and going. And Governor Clinton at the time traveled with that boat when, to celebrate the completion of the Erie Canal, which joined Lake Erie with New York City Harbor. Right. So he traveled on that boat, the original, and then married the waters of Lake Erie into the New York Harbor. And they're recreating the boat, and they're going to recreate the journey in about, I think, 2025. So oh, nice. Yeah. nice. So if you take Brandon and my IQ and you add them together, mm -hmm. then the Doctor of Destruction, you actually, we, we almost measure up to him. Of course you know about the Erie Almost. <laughs> okay, so I'm being nice to you here, okay? I'm going to come on that other side of the counter for the finish of it. You think no, you're, you're off scot-free. <laughs> yeah. You're not. Okay, I'm coming it's around like, there. I, it's like the touching tips are here. Exactly, oh, yeah, right. exactly. We make you magic promise happen. never to tell. Cross the stream, so. We made magic happen. Exactly. Okay, here we go, guys. The whiskey plank. And just, uh, do you mind just telling us, uh, so the price of these, this one? Oh, yeah, roughly uh, $60 Ooh. on the uh, bottle of my bourbon. The rye is 75 Plank is 45 Okay. Mm. That's okay. retail. Special price for you. <laughs> So a good friend of our distillers, his stepfather was a world-class game hunter, uh, living down in Virginia. He uh, unfortunately passed away, and his, his widow was interested in uh, having the heads, the uh, trophy heads, be displayed somewhere where they would be seen and enjoyed by the public. So we brought those back just about a week and a half ago and just installed them in the new trophy room. This whiskey plank is delicious. Awesome. You, Raymond, what's happening, man? Yeah, you thought you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, Ray, let me sit here. Oh, Ray, with, the, with this hat, we're unable to. Oh, this Ray. is the kind of abuse I have to take to be on this stupid channel. Oh, oh Ray, it's so amazing. Yeah, see, being behind the bar, I did not have easy access. Could get back there. there. Oh, back here. Back <laughs> over there. Oh, over here. Yeah, yeah there. There you go. <laughs> Ray. Just one time. Buffalo! 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 That's going to give him some there good go. luck. Well, there give us go. good yeah. luck of doing it on Sunday. Go Bills! Okay. You guys are in danger of becoming honorary Buffalonians. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Okay, so, I got to tell you, this is exceptional. It is very good. Yeah. I'm not just saying that. I can't believe you guys are so... Hey, look at him. You got to have a big There you go. So, <laughs> I just feel like this is... I mean, this is the best one we've had so far, and you're selling that for only forty dollars. Forty-five. Forty-five. Wow, that's great. That's pretty good. That's a deal. Ray, can I say that's really good? Not it's, pretty good. It's a great deal. Thank you. Forty-nine yeah. Canadian. Forty. <laughs> we love Canada. Is that right? Canada's right across the river. <laughs> so during Prohibition, Buffalo never went dry either. Uh, the mayor, yeah, because the whiskey flowed there across the go. mighty Niagara River. Thank you, Mayor. Long boats. Mm. So uh, here's the last one that we're going to taste. Now, you know, we keep it real here on this channel and uh i'm hoping that this does not ruin the palate i had a i had what was that one that we i got i'm gonna throw this uh company under the bus what was it uh, only you would know brandon don't let me down i forget you did not come Something on man, this maple. battery's gonna go down so we dead so we gotta get moving here uh 291 so there's this uh there's 291 uh it's a colorado uh distillery and uh in aspen and i'm not sure what those guys the are doing aspen up in state. Oh, with maple aspen staves. And I'll tell you what, if you drink that, and you, if you drink 15 at a night, like to taste, you know, not full shots, you taste 15, and if you have that anywhere along the way, it's going to completely ruin your palate. Mm -hmm. So, can we get a drum roll, guys? Yeah. Is it going to ruin our palate? Wait, what did you get there? You got one of that, didn't you? Don't bother Kelly. This one? Yeah. I love it. No. Nope. 
Oh, no? He's drinking. Uh, uh, okay. Pretend like I just uh, yeah. Usually, I'm more off the magic magic cool. of TV. I'm, uh, I'm, a, okay. there you go. I'm going to show that. I'm a legend in my own mind. I usually get yeah, well, we all my that. tasting of my collection, which is, you know, 300 bottles. The Ray of Charles. Definitely tasting. smell the maple. He got it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the blind. I just uploaded a video this morning of him guessing a complete blind. Oh, wow. Whoa. And he guessed it out of 300 bottles. God, that's very mild. Yeah. I mean, it's not real strong on the maple. Yeah, so that's not going to ruin the palate. Yeah. No. What's the proof on that? 80 proof. Proof in the price? Uh, $52. You guys are idiots in New York if you don't find this <laughs> in the store. I buy bags. all of them. I don't think I got another yeah. bag. Brandon, you only brought three bags? We only brought three bags that you put it in so you can fly it on the plane and it doesn't break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the game got postponed, so we're going to be here a little longer. Maybe oh, that's true. Amazon over I actually agree. I'm not just saying I would never say it if it's not true. Okay? I really like this. Actually, if you, you know what? Instead of having a brandy or yeah. some type of aperitif after a meal, mm -hmm. if you wanted to end on this one, but this could get dangerous. Oh, yeah. I my, mean, my neighbors uh, and yeah. I killed the bottle of this in like 26 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, no problem. That's oh, I, I, I love it. Out that. in the backyard barbecue, yeah. Yeah, that's very I good. love that. Okay, so at the end of the bourbon tasting, we always do the same thing. It actually comes from the old Dragon Slayer move. Oh, well, we go bam, like this. We just say one, two, three, we all say bam at the camera at the same time. Would you do us the honors of doing that, sir? I would love to. One, two, three, bam! bam! Awesome. Dude, you're great on camera. All right, right. done. Oh, my gosh, man. Which Okay, so which one are you uh, Brandon, do you mind just turning that off so that we can... Uh, we can speak I candidly. We can, we can, uh, Outtakes! Save some. I said, what's that? Oh, dude, I'm going to do that. You know, we have, yeah. like, an honey version of that. You know, slow down. Come on. You know, I'm going to smell it. When it drinks, I'm going to smell it. You know what I mean? It's good for mixing. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to see this. Yes, they do. Absolutely. You just said main line. And it's like freaking amazing. Andy said this is a face for radio. Oh, get in here. This is a face for radio. Come on. 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 Yeah, we are in Buffalo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this guy right